If you're like many pickleballers, you probably just started playing this fantastic sport over the last year or two. Or maybe you started this past weekend. Either way, it isn't long until every newcomer is trying to figure out how to get better and quickly. While there are a lot of different shots in pickleball, today's video discusses five of the most important shots you can learn that will elevate your game to the next level. Hello and welcome to Pro Pickleball Media, your number one spot for all pickleball content. Our channel is dedicated to the fastest growing sport in the US and we cover all fun and exciting things related to pickleball. So if you love pickleball and want to learn more about it, just take a second to subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our recent videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about top five pickleball shots to uplift your game. Now let's get right into the video. Number one, the dink. <laughs> no, we didn't misspell a word. The shot is actually called a dink shot. A dink is when you softly hit the ball over the net and usually you want it to land inside your opponent's non-volley zone, also called the kitchen area. The shot's played very often on all levels. How do you do the shot? Forcing your opponent to shoot from below the net is the goal of the dink. If you want to hit a dink, you need to let the ball bounce and then lift your leg up such that your knee or waist makes contact with the ball. You can dink with either your forehand or backhand and the point is to hit the ball with just enough arch so it sneaks through the net and settles gently on the other side. By encouraging your opponent to aim for a low shot, you increase the likelihood that you will miss hit the ball and send it flying into the air, offering you an easy put away opportunity. Best Practices the best way to hit a soft dink is with a short, tight stroke. A big backswing is not what you want. Just let the club fall to the ground and lift it with your shoulder. Don't flick your wrist. You don't want to hit it too high, but you do want to give yourself enough space to consistently clear the net. Keep your hold on it light. Keep your grip at a 3 or 4 on a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is a death grip. Number 2. The Volley Another constant shot in every pickleball match is the volley shot. A volley shot is when you make contact with the ball before it touches the court. Instead of letting it bounce, you hit it while it's still in the air. How to do the shot Perhaps the biggest key to performing a successful volley is to hit it with a short, compact stroke, pushing the ball forward through contact. You want to always keep the ball in front of you during a volley. If you wait until the ball is past you, then you're setting yourself up for an awkward or missed shot. Typically, volleys aren't hit hard unless you're going for a point or put away. Now before we move ahead to talk about more game-changing pickleball tips, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that we can keep bringing more informative pickleball content to you. Your little contribution means a lot for us. Best Practices Aim for your opponent's chest or waist area. Practice by aiming at your practice partner's waist area and focusing on volleying back and forth to get the hang of the amount of force to put on the ball and learn how to return it consistently. Volleys don't often win points in a match, but they are great for setting up winning points. Often when dinking, you'll also want to throw in a volley every once in a while. Number 3. The Serve The serve starts every point, and there are several ways to serve the ball. A good technique to begin with that will allow you to hit the ball well and improve your serve over time is to start with a closed or semi-closed stance while standing just behind the baseline. How to do the shot An open stance is when you stand with your feet parallel to the baseline and your chest facing the net. A closed stance is when your feet are parallel to the baseline and your chest is facing out of bounds. A semi-closed position is in the middle. Instead of having your feet right next to each other, your back foot is half a step to a full step closer to the edge of the field. Think of a batter in baseball or a golfer. That's the best way to picture it. When they're getting ready to hit the ball, their chests aren't facing the pitcher or the fairway. Instead, those areas are facing their front shoulder. This is the best way to start your serve because it gives your body room to move and lets you make a full swing. Best Practices Being consistent is the key to being of service. Before you hit the ball, you want to drop it in a consistent way that you can do it again and again. For a drop serve, you let the ball bounce before you hit it. You want to catch the ball as it goes back up and reaches its highest point. The drop serve is a good way to start out if you are new to tennis. Hit the ball out of the air is another way to serve. This time you drop it, but instead of letting it bounce, you hit it when it gets to about knee or shin level. As you get better, this is probably how you'll serve it most of the time. Stay in a good athletic position with your knees slightly bent. First, work on your technique and consistency. As you get better, you can get more power. Don't stop your swing right after you hit the ball. Instead, swing through the ball. Don't give up if you're having trouble with the serve. You'll get better with practice. Instead, try moving around the baseline until you find a spot you're comfortable with and can hit over and over again. 
Serving is a skill that you can practice even if you don't have a partner. Got a bucket of balls and practice dropping and serving the ball, then turn around. Number four, the return. When your opponent is serving, you'll be responsible for the return shot. Having a great return is essential to playing good pickleball. How to do the shot. When you're waiting for the serve, you should stand behind the baseline, maybe a foot back. This is because you need a lot of space to move into your return shot. When your opponent is serving, you don't want them to hit the ball deep and near your feet, making it hard for you to hit it back to them. As the ball comes to you, you should decide whether you will try a forehand or backhand return. This will help you set your feet easily and hit the ball consistently with the middle of the paddle. As you hit the ball, you want to move forward with your momentum and take a space at the non-volley zone line to get ready for shorter shots or a round of dinking in volleys. Best practice. Make sure to work on both your forehands and your backhands when you practice. There are several ways to return a shot. In the end, you need to find out what works best for you. Try returning the ball deep to your opponent when you're just starting out. This will give you time to move up or get into position you want to play from. On the return, your goal should be to give your opponent a tough shot and keep them from getting where they want to be. Don't worry about how hard you hit your returns, just hit it deep. Number five, the ground stroke. The ground stroke is simply a shot that you hit from the baseline or close to it. After it bounces on the ground, typically you want to hit these balls with some pace and make solid contact. How to do the shot. These are your typical shots, similar to what you see primarily in tennis. In pickleball, however, they are less prevalent, though still important throughout a match because most matches end at the non-volley zone line. You want to be in a closed position and use a medium backswing to perform a good ground stroke. Best Practices Just as you did on the serve, you want to shift your weight from the back leg to the front leg as you make contact through the ball. Think of a smooth rather than hard when hitting this will help you develop power in your swing. Keep your grip pressure around the 3 or 4 mark. Follow all the way through the shot with your shoulder. Conclusion? There you go. There are the 5 most important pickleball shots to learn and eventually master. So what are your thoughts about shot selection and its importance in pickleball? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video and share it with your fellow picklers. Also, if you love pickleball, then make sure to watch this next video on our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.